Hi guys and welcome to Combat Sports Promotions. So what happens when a fighter sees the red mist and simply refuses to stop? Well, here we have such a fight from Ultimate Combat 7. This explosive fight caused a lot of upset and even ended an MMA career entirely. So let's take a look at the incident in full, but be sure to keep watching afterwards for a full breakdown of exactly what happened. So is Wayne Cook going to use the force to beat this guy? Or? <laughs> Well, Julian didn't give him any chance to uh, to unload one of those big strikes he's run out for. First of a pair at all ranges. Um, they first go in and you know, figure out his opponent as he's fighting. It's just take the right actions. He's going. Whoa, oh, he's hurt is, there. What has happened here? Well, cook. Whoa, 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 whoa! This is going way over the top here. Way to go, Andy Davis, the referee. And we've got some problems here. We've got some problems here. Big problems here. Okay, so as we can see, a lot of things are happening in a very short space of time. So firstly, who are these two fighters? Well, Julian Gonzalez, who I guess would be described as the victim in this instance, is a well-recognized professional MMA fighter from Team Shoot España in Spain. This being his fifth fight, coming off of recent wins against Alex Cook and also soon-to-be UFC fighter Tom Blackledge. Julian is a decent and solid all-round fighter. His opponent is a guy called Wayne Cook. This was only Wayne's second MMA fight, and so facing a more experienced opponent. That said, his debut fight was a somewhat explosive 5 second TKO against Alec Davenport at Ultimate Combat 6. Hey, if you want to see that fight in full, we'll be adding that to our channel soon. So the fight opens with a brief flurry of punches and Julian takes the clinch and moves his opponent over to the fence. So both fighters stay in this position for almost 3 minutes, after which time the referee correctly splits them up due to lack of action. And then this happens. What has happened here? So as we can see, Julian gets in a really nice punch. But then why does Julian suddenly turn away from his opponent to give up? Well, we learn later after the fight that Julian has been nursing a dislocated shoulder injury. If you watch carefully, you can see Julian lands a really nice punch with his left arm and then immediately drops that same arm and turns away. The injury has reoccurred. So Wayne takes the opportunity and chases down his opponent exactly as he should and fires in some good shots to ensure that he finishes the fight. And up to this point, he's done exactly as he should, no issues whatsoever. But it's what happens next that's the problem. So the referee, Andy Davis, jumps in to end the fight and tries to pull Wayne off of his opponent and manages to do so briefly. But Wayne is having none of it, shrugs Andy off and goes back in on Julian and lands more blows. And so the referee has to get physical. Luckily, the referee, Andy Davis, is a long-time MMA coach and also a general, no-nonsense kind of a guy. So he grabs Wayne in a chokehold, physically wrestles Wayne to the ground, even manages to get a hook in and holds him there until he's calm and confirmed that he knows that the fight is actually over. So things are back under control. But what happens next is a little bit unfortunate. Understandable under the circumstances when tensions are high, but still not the correct solution. Whoa, 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 this is going way over the top here. Way to go, Andy Davis, the referee. And we've got some problems here. We've got some problems here. So Julian's teammate, also from Team Shoot España, Daniel Tabera, forces entry into the cage and comes running across. Now it should be mentioned that Daniel Tumbera is himself a very seasoned MMA fighter, having fought previously at Ultimate Combat and many times at events such as M1 uh, against some really tough guys uh, including Gilbert Ivel. So he comes running across the cage and throws in a big right hand at Wayne Cook uh, which just narrowly misses his chin. Now at this stage a lot of respect has got to go out to Wayne Cook's corner team. These guys are MMA professionals and thankfully they keep their cool and correctly try and calm things down, which is hard to do when people are throwing punches around, so respect to those guys. So next you can see that a second uh, member of Team Shooter Spania has entered the cage, Enrique Anton. Uh, again, another professional MMA fighter. Now, thankfully he's a little bit cooler than Daniel, but still clearly very upset at seeing his teammate hurt. 
and uh, the referee Andy Davis manages to calm him down. During which time the ringside medic is already attending to Julian Gonzalez and Daniel is also back with Julian alongside team Shoot Espana owner and chief coach Alejandro Iglesias. Now many people watching will likely not know who Alejandro Iglesias is but this guy is the real deal. He's an outstanding MMA coach and he also owns one of the largest if not the largest martial arts academy in the world, the IVAD in Valencia, Spain. He's one of the nicest people you could ever hope to meet and as you can see the amount of respect that the Spanish fighters have for him is second to none. What he says goes, as you'll see. So you can see Alejandro making his thoughts known to both the officials and the opposing team. But if you look in the background, Daniel Tabera is again getting a little bit agitated and physically pushes the referee. A big no-no. And in a classic moment, you'll see that Alejandro glimpses back over his shoulder, sees that Daniel is giving the second referee a hard time, and immediately tells Daniel it's over, grabs him, spins him around, and throws him out of the cage. You don't mess with Alejandro Iglesias. So in the aftermath, several things happened. Alejandro Iglesias, at his own request, came back into the cage shortly afterwards to make a public apology to the crowd for the behavior of his fighter, Daniel Tabera. Alejandro is a consummate professional. The fight was then deemed a no contest, and Wayne Cook was later that same evening banned from competing at Ultimate Combat again. And unfortunately, that seems to be the last MMA fight Wayne Cook ever competed in so his MMA career literally ended that night, which is a real shame after such an explosive first two fights. It would have been really interesting to see if he could manage to keep the Red Mist under control as he had a lot of potential, but I guess not to be. Maybe Wayne scared himself by not being able to stop when the referee intervened, or maybe he's decided he'd had enough of MMA. We'll likely never know. However, one thing is for sure, and that's that this just goes to show how dangerous it can be in MMA when the red mist descends and that tunnel vision switches on. Thankfully, these kinds of things don't happen very often in MMA competition, but when it does, damn. We hope you've enjoyed watching. Please be sure to subscribe for more great MMA content. We'll see you on the next one.